her voters back home. Somewhere we might be able to make a little dent to begin with. It might, you know, this is a hostility of years. Decades. Decades. Since and uh, they, they claim, you know, the politicians, we will continue to fight for 1,000 years war and this thing and that thing and that thing, right? So we have to make an attempt and we shall make an attempt. And God willing, somewhere one lives by hopes. Point is whether right? you believe in a, this principle, and if you really do believe in this principle, and I really uh, admire if you form this uh, uh, parliament, uh, which was at the moment is going to be a little pressure group, as I understand. Uh, I think uh, I invite the entire delegation to Pakistan, come and talk to our women, mm -hmm. and let's start from it. And I really mean it, and I'm capable of doing it, uh, oh, yeah, can, and I uh, invite you in front of all these people, come to Pakistan, speak to our women, give out what you are on foreign policy and defense basically, because I don't want to indulge in your sure. local matters, which is your own private concern, but your foreign policy and your defense policy directly affects us. We are neighbors, we have shared the same culture for a very long time, for hundreds and hundreds of years, and we have been uh, enemies since our creation. We are two super nuclear powers, we live side by side, and both of us know that if I use my nuclear power, or you use your nuclear power, if I use mine, it's going to affect me also, because we are so close. close. And if you use yours, it's going to affect you also. And in spite of all that, we are spending billions and billions on this and depriving our people from education, from health care, from, and you know, putting them in child poverty, labor, poverty, poverty mm -hmm. yes, everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is a very positive, I thank my friends who brought me in here. I had no idea that you were having this parliament. And I honestly, formally extend you an invitation. Come over, talk to our women, and let's see, let's make a start and then it's very good. It's a great opportunity also. And uh, basically, uh, I believe and we all believe, actually we need power, not just for the sake of power, to save the world, because women are the peacemakers, always, traditionally. They never involve in war. They're always involved in peace, whether they're recognized or not.